Hey, it's Dave Palmer again and welcome to another one of my video diaries. Um, with me here, I've got Eleni. Eleni uh, Eleni is actually a beach volleyball player. She played the Olympics, just gone just now, uh, for Mauritius, the Mauritian team. And as you know, I'll be going over to Mauritius um, to do uh, some speaking in, uh, later this year. So how exotic is that? Anyway, Eleni, I'd like Eleni to tell me, me about your Olympic experience here. I mean, I mean, what did you think of London? How did you find the whole Olympic experience? Because, I mean, this is so wonderful in London to feel this vibe and this spirit. How did you feel and, you know, how did, how did it all go? Um, I have to say London has been absolutely amazing. Yeah. Um, the crowd uh, is just um, over and beyond. Uh, we've had a lot of support. Yeah. Um, it just, I mean, it's our first Olympics and it's been absolutely great. That's great, that's great. And how did you find the village? I mean, did you stay in the village or...? Yep, uh, we're still currently in the village. Uh, yep. The village kind of feels like a dorm, so I feel oh, like I'm really? going back to sort of university. Back to school. <laughs> yeah, back to school. Uh, but I feel young again, I'm with like all these young athletes. And, and did you go in the uh, food hall, you see everyone, all the other yes, athletes? Yes, yes, so that was really great. And the main area where all the TVs are and yep. seeing all the sports. and yep. It's good camaraderie, isn't it, with all the athletes? Oh yeah, and, oh yeah. You know, I remember when I was in Malaysia, I did the Commonwealth Games and it's the same thing in the village, to feel, you know, you know, it's part of a bigger, the different, yeah. yeah, all the different personalities around, yeah. all the different countries hanging yeah. out. It's really great. I used yeah. to hang out with different countries, watch videos. It's really great. Yeah. I like that fun part. But about coming to London to visit and stuff like that, how did you find that? Uh, London, I got to see uh, some great sort of tourist sites, but also yeah. sort of experience London um, as a local. Yeah. Um, so that was really good. Oh, excellent. excellent. Yeah. And um, what was it like playing next to like the Prime Minister's office and the, you know Buckingham <laughs> Palace? Playing beach volleyball, the, the most glamorous sport that we're magnifying it. Yeah. I mean, how did that feel, being an Olympic athlete with all that crowd? How did that feel? Um, definitely have to say I got emotional when I first walked into the stadium. Oh, wow. Um, like, I kinda, as in overwhelmed. I, I teared, yep. Yeah. I definitely uh, was just overwhelmed by all these emotions. Yeah. And um, it was such a, such a yeah, overwhelming feeling um, to know that my parents were in the stands as well and yeah. like my whole family. And, so it's great. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that, that's fantastic. That's absolutely fantastic. I mean, you know, I, I, me, I've, I had the fortunate um, to compete in a major championship as well, but nothing beats it being in the Olympics, yeah. competing in the Olympian. I mean, me myself, I've seen so many athletes flying about the place because I live in the central London. You know, the, the vibe, the spirit, the crowd cheering anywhere, not just only in the uh, stadium or in the park. You know, they were, they were cheering everywhere, and it, it was just—it's an amazing thing to have a, a host city and feeling that Olympic spirit. So, um, I mean, what, what's next now? I mean, you know, it must be, you take all that time training. I mean, I, I used to train nearly twice a day and work as a firefighter. Yeah. You know, I still work for the fire service now. I'm a manager now, but, you know, what, 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 what's next for you? I mean, what's, what's the training like? Um, well, training is, like you said, you know, yeah. just training almost every day and, yeah. um, you know, sometimes twice a day. Yeah. Um, what's next uh, is potentially going back to teaching. Yeah, um, okay. And, uh, sort of, yeah, yes. 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 and I want to sort of, that's part of it too, is to inspire my students to, yeah. to, to go for their dream and to, exactly. to reach their goals. And you know, that's what it's all about. And the motto for the Olympic Games was inspire a generation. And you know, that's exactly what I want to do with what all I do. Uh, you know, after this Olympic Games, I think there's going to be a powerful message sent out, inspiring a generation of youngsters to really get involved. It, it helps you in all walks of life as well. Um, so, for me, until next time, be good. <laughs>